Last year, a collaborative research project began between the Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries and Captain Rebus. Two nets were tested for their ability to reduce cod discards. This net, developed by Captain Rebus, used an orange 8-inch square mesh top to allow cod to rise through the larger mesh and escape. Another net, developed in Europe, was suggested to be capable of reducing cod discards in the Northeast Multispecies Trawl Fishery by former Division of Marine Fisheries senior biologist Arnie Carr. Both nets were tested against a standard groundfish trawl. The standard net was constructed of 6-inch diamond polyethylene mesh throughout with a 50 mesh, 6.5 inch square knotless mesh in the cod end. The head rope and foot rope lengths were 40 and 60 feet. The experimental nets were also constructed of 6 inch polyethylene mesh with 75 mesh, 6.5 inch square knotless mesh in the cod end. The rebus net replaced 6 inch diamond mesh on the top middle of the net with 25 meshes wide of 8 inch square mesh from the head rope to the cod end. This design had a head rope and foot rope length of 60 feet. The topless net has no top wings, allowing the head rope to follow a taper of the net's gore into the top belly, reaching a length of 89 feet. The bottom half of this net and the rebus net are identical. The ground gear used for all three net designs was identical. Here are a couple of toes that demonstrate the regulatory discard problem the Division of Marine Fisheries and Captain Rebus wanted to solve. After we see this last pile of mostly discarded catch, we will view a paired toe from this experiment to demonstrate the effectiveness of both experimental net designs. The two experimental net designs were tested against a standard design using a paired toe method. Under this protocol, toes were repeated as similarly as possible in pairs with one toe using an experimental net and the other a standard net. When possible, toe position, toe duration, and tides were duplicated with one leg of the pair immediately following the other leg. This pairing allows rather straightforward, robust statistical testing to be conducted. The catch from this experimental haul with the standard groundfish trawl contains more than 400 pounds of cod. In one tow, a fisherman catches the daily limit of this species and continues to fish the same net for all other species. In the next haul, you will see that this indiscriminate method of fishing is unnecessary. Here is a comparable haul with the 8-inch square mesh top trawl. Notice that the cod catch is practically absent from this bag. When 19-inch fish and smaller cod are abundant, cod catch with this experimental trawl net is very low. Although, when larger cod are in the tow area, they are retained by the experimental nets at a catch rate 
which would allow the daily trip limit to be caught. With the topless and 8 inch square mesh top trawl, juvenile flatfish and cod are sharply reduced. This attribute of the nets will help recovering stocks reach a larger biomass faster. Now we can observe the escape behavior of cod around both experimental trawls. It should be noted that catch rates between the standard and experimental trawls for species other than cod were not different. This means all three nets perform with the same efficiency regardless of tow duration. Here is a view ahead of the head rope on the 8 inch square mesh top trawl. Notice cod and dogfish rising as they approach the head rope and fall into the net under the top panel. Here is a look at the starboard wing from the port showing cod rise to the top of the trawl and flatfish hugging the belly of the trawl. This is why the experimental nets don't lose efficiency on species like flatfish and others that are closely associated with the seafloor. Fish behavior is what makes these modified trawls work. Now we will pan aft into the center of the net. Note again that the cod are in the upper half of the trawl and flatfish remain against the belly as they travel toward the cod end. Pay close attention to the top half of your screen. A cod is about to demonstrate the escape behavior that the 8 inch square mesh top trawl capitalizes on. Here is the escaping cod again in slow motion. Here is another tow with the standard groundfish net. This is the first tow in a pair to be compared to the 8 inch square mesh top trawl. There is over 3,000 pounds of cod in this half hour tow alone. This is the first split of the bag. Here is the remainder of the catch, which fills the extension completely. Now the remaining catch after the split comes aboard.
the second hall. This is the third tunnel, right? This is the th Here is the paired tow with the 8 inch square mesh top trawl. Notice plenty of large cod, over 200 pounds are caught. However, this is a very sharp reduction in cod catch over the standard haul we observed previously. Here is Captain Rebus sitting with Congressman William Delahunt in his Washington office. The Massachusetts Division of Marine Fisheries and Luis Rebus are highly committed to finding working solutions to management problems in the Northeast multi-species trawl fishery. In summary, here is the reduction rate of cod in the topless net when compared to the standard net. 86.9% of cod were avoided when using the topless net in paired tows against the standard trawl net. Likewise, 71.4% of cod were avoided by the 8-inch top net when compared to the standard net in paired tows. Here is the percent of juvenile flatfish saved by the topless net. Notice that the topless net reduces yellowtail 81.2% and blackback juveniles by 60.6%. And finally, here is the percent reduction of juvenile discards for flatfish between the standard and 8 inch top nets. Oh, that's good. That's a good one.